morning, everyone. It's gonna be a new sunny day in Sweden. Pack your swimwear, your motorcycles, your lovers, and join this journey through Dalsland. Turn up your volume and enjoy. All the good weather that we didn't have on the north we have now. We have been swimming yesterday, we have been swimming the day before yesterday and we have been swimming this morning. We decided that we're gonna look for our accommodation according if it's on a lake or not because we will continue our swimming every day now. We were only about 300 kilometers away from the city Gothenburg, but decided not to go straight, but on small roads through Sweden's countries Värmland and Dalsland, with another overnight stop before reaching the first bigger city since our stay in Luleå. My travel partner is navigating at the moment, and for some reason I don't trust that too much, but he says he heard about a nice cafe, so we are trying to find that now. We were actually both very surprised that my travel partner did find the cafe. Björbecken Slusser Cafe is located on the Björbecken Canal. The cafe is called like this because here is a lock. With a height difference of roughly 10 meters, boats can travel in the so-called Sluss, the canal, when the water rises in the floodgates to elevate them to a higher level. such a nice day of riding today and um, I always on my trips plan very spontaneously so I never pre-plan too much but it's very rare that I have completely no clue where to go and where to end up as I mostly have like kind of day goals that then I want to do but today we are really just taking the nicest roads and deciding from crossing to crossing where to go. Dalsland was originally called Dal, Valley. The name Dal is still in part used locally for Dalsland, which translated would be Valley Land. No other part of Sweden has its area covered with as many lakes as Dalsland does. Of its total area, around 450 square kilometers is water. Now we arrived in Vestra Jötterland and um, the beautiful riding continues. We just stopped here on this nice little gravel road at this lake to fly the drone. And um, actually it was a quite nice riding today. Lots of curves up and down roads and um, always on and off gravel. So just take the small roads here. It's really worth a ride.
the southern and eastern part of the province Westerjutland is dominated by hills. The northern and western portions of the province belong to the central Swedish lowland. We were going to Hovarud, where we plan to look for an accommodation at a lake called Upparudshöljen, because our maps told us that there would be several hotels close to the water. This road is just the best, so much fun. If you want to ride one road here close to Gothenburg, choose this one north of Hoverud. It's amazing. Later we found out that this 8 km long road is called Brutfjellswergen and many people call it Sweden's most exciting road or compare it to a roller coaster. This road to Hoverud that we just drove was, I think, one of the best rides we had on this journey. Super much fun, a lot of curves. And now we're trying to find um, a place here on this lake, checking out this hotel and um, seeing if they have a room. We really found the perfect hotel with a perfect room right at the lake. So it doesn't look so super sunny and super hot, but uh, it's actually a super hot day today. It's like 27 degrees. We were sweating in our way to warm motorcycle clothes now. And um, that's why I will be in here in one minute. Super beautiful and actually not as cold as all as I expected. And now, after swimming, perfect, perfect beer. Check Budweiser. The next day, we wanted to take off to the city Gothenburg, which was not far anymore, but not before having another problem with my key. I tell you what, you only have problem with this fancy things. Now uh, I have the key here, and the bike doesn't start because maybe the key is empty or something is wrong with it. Only trouble. So we have keyless is useless. So now we got it running for, I don't know, after trying like 20 times. I think it's a very, very stupid system that you don't really have like a keyhole anymore to start your bike. I would definitely not take this on an adventure to Africa or somewhere where this could happen. This is fun, my little adventure now. We found again some nice little roads, but I can't fall now because I'm so scared that the bike will otherwise not start anymore due to the empty battery of my key. Uh, I have 60 kilometers left until I need gas, so we're trying to get to this limit and go to our next gas station in 60 kilometers and hopefully it will have some battery. Meanwhile, the riding here in the countryside is absolutely beautiful. Just got some gas and now trying to find a battery for the key to ride so that the bike is not dying next time I try to start it. I found the fitting battery and I bought two just in case that it dies again and now I exchange it and then hopefully everything runs smooth again. When we entered Gothenburg it was the first time in a very long while that we had to take a bigger highway. Yeah. 
here we are, Gothenburg. It's the first big stop of our journey. And you will see soon what we will be up to. Thanks for joining the journey all the way to Gothenburg. In the next episode, we will ride a bit less, but eat more. I will introduce you to Sweden's best food and nicest beaches. Leave me a comment and a thumbs up and hit the bell button to not miss out on my weekly videos.